Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the One Hand Mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Today we are working on a Craftsman T1700, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the mower deck, install the mower deck belt, and reinstall the mower deck. So the first thing we have to do is look at the tools needed. Okay, so from left to right we have 3 8 electric ratchet, 9 16 wrench, 9 16 socket, pry bar. I want to use a quarter inch electric ratchet. You can use a quarter inch or 3 8 ratchet, whatever you have. I have a, I'm using a two inch extension on a half inch deep socket, a pair of needle nice pliers, a silver or white marker, 3 8 socket, and the OEM belt. I definitely recommend a OEM belt. They're just better belts, they last longer. Let's get to it. Okay, first thing you want to do, if you can do this on asphalt or concrete, definitely do that because it makes it so much easier to, to slide the mower deck out. Then you want to put the emergency brake on. You're going to put the, the mower deck all the way in the furthest down position that you can, like so. And then we're going to go around to the front of the mower and we're going to take off the front pulley bracket first. Here, This bracket right here goes all the way across. It is actually bolted right up here. This is the, a little older style. Um, you do have to take that bolt out to get this off. And then if you go around to the other side where the mounting holes are on the frame, which are right here. And so there are a few holes right here. Now what I did was on this hole that it's at, I used a silver marker and I just put a line right here. And this is a half inch socket that will take off the bolt. So this will just come down and it'll drop out of the other side. I'm going to take this out of the way. Make sure you remember which way this goes. And then you're going to drop the belt down, just like so. Okay, so now we're going to go to the, to the rear of the machine. Okay, so now we're on the left rear side bracket here. Now this is the older style. They don't make this real, real easy. There's a small butterfly or a toe, a bow tie clip here. And this rod that comes down has to slide through the hole on this bracket, then go through the hole on here bad design. I don't like it, but it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. So the first thing we're going to do is take the clip out. And these are really small clips. They really hold well, but they're very small. Okay, these are butterfly clips. You might, this one here you can see, kind of got a little bit bent and we'll bend that back. But when you put them in, make sure they face rearward. So if you hit something moving forward, we do 90% of our traveling is done going forward. It tends, it could pop out. So if you put them in this way, it won't pop out. And they'll, if anything, they'll go in and they stay. All right, now at this point, the mower deck is actually in the air, even though we have it down all the way, is how it's adjusted. And that's where my pry bar will come in. Okay, so you're gonna lift up on the mower deck a little bit. And if you have a block of wood, that actually may help you because this one's a little tricky. So I'm gonna lift up. That relieves the stress on this right there. And then you're gonna push the bar out. And, all right, like so. Now you see how that bar just fell to the ground? This, this right here has to go, at, well, the bar itself has to go through that hole right there and then through this hole. And there's actually, uh, right here, there's a slot. There's a bracket here and there's a slot right where my finger is where that has to slide down into it and it can be a real bear to get that all lined up. So what I do is I put the rod through the hole just to rest it in there like that. And sometimes I'll put the clip in there, but these clips are a real pain to get in and out. This one's a little bit bent, so what I might do is just leave it in there because it's not that hard to get out. I'm gonna leave it in there so that doesn't fall apart. Okay, so we're gonna take off the front mounting bar and that is right here. This is the bar. And again, this is, it, it's up in the air a little bit, even though the mower deck's all the way down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the pry bar in the front, lift up a little bit. That puts it, no stress on this right now. It's nice and loose. I'm gonna take this off, butterfly, butterfly clip or bow tie clip. Push that out, just like so. And if you are, take my pry bar out. If you're gonna have the mower deck off for a long period, long period of time, take this out the front, this bar. But just remember which way it goes in and which way it's facing. Uh, you can jackknife these bars if you go in reverse, if they're just hanging on the machine and you don't have the mower deck on. So be aware of that. We're just going to leave it out because we're just changing the belt out right now. So now we're going to come over to the rear bracket. Okay, so I'm going to lift up the mower deck with my pry bar. 
and just put a block of wood underneath it to help offset the, uh, the weight. Okay, so now it's loose and I can work with this. And remember that you have to push the bar out and it'll come up. And then I'm going to go ahead and lower my mower deck down to the ground so I have more room to work like that. Now I'm going to try to keep this in. I don't want it to fall out. It'll be easier to put it all back together again. So go ahead and just I'm going to put that clip like that. Now this is where you're going to take the mower deck height adjustment and you're going to lift it all the way up. This one was not spring loaded. Some of them are, so be careful when you put this up. If they're spring loaded, they can actually rock it back there and hurt you sometimes, your hand. Now we have to get the blade engagement cable off the machine. So we're going to slide the mower deck out. A little bit at a time. And here is the cable that we need to get out right here. So we're going to take this clip off. Now you have to be very careful, you have to be very careful you don't take this, this cable and pull the mower deck out too far because you can actually break the cable, bend the cable, you don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. Now the arm here that engages the mower deck with the cable, you can actually push this in and that will give you room to take this cable out of the slot right here, like so. It depends on how they have them in there, but these can be real bare to get out. But what I did was I actually turned it sideways, like so. So when you push it out, you would think it would come right down like that, but it doesn't. So if you turn it sideways a little bit while you're going down, it'll come right out. So keep that in mind when you put it back together again. Just have a little sideways spin on it, and it'll come out of the hole like that. And you have to remember also that you have to go underneath your brake arm and underneath your blade belt. So go ahead and push this off to the side. Again, if you're not using the machine with the mower deck, you're going to have to put this up out of the way. You don't want to run over it with your tire. So I need to just hang it somewhere for now and until I get the, the belt on and then I replace it. If you're going to run without the mower deck, zip tie it up somewhere. <laughs> Pull the mower deck out. Now at this point, you have to get the belt off. And this is our new belt. I use genuine OEM belts for mower decks. I have tried aftermarket belts in the past and they do not work very well. Um, everybody asks me what size is the belt. I'm, I'm not going to tell you the size because I don't know. I go by part numbers. You look, up, you look up the belt for your machine and you get the correct belt. This is a Cub Cadet, but it's Troy built. Cub Cadet is actually, it's actually MTD. So this is an MTD product. That's who makes the machine and that's where I got the belt from. So what now we have to do is we have 9 16 socket that'll, that'll take this up. You have a small gap right here between the pulley right here. And make sure your pulleys are all good before you do any work on your mower. Also, this blade break here is getting very worn. Uh, you could replace that. What I normally do is I'll, I'll just make sure it's still working and not grinding anywhere. And then we replace them if needed. Okay, so we have to take these covers off here, which is a 3 8 socket. Now these covers are very important. Do not run your mower deck without these covers. If you need to buy a new cover, I know these covers vibrate a lot and they break, but they have, they're using all three of these sides as guides and it keeps the belt from falling off when you disengage your mower deck. Not necessarily when you're running it, but when you disengage it, this will fall right off and then you'll ruin it when you re-engage it. So it is very important that you have these covers on. With this blade break right here, I would suggest probably replacing it because it is pretty worn. Um, they actually changed this design, so it's a little bit better than it used to be. These wear out a lot, so you just have to keep that in mind. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take off. We're not going to take the pulley off. I'm just going to loosen these two up because I have one here and one here. It's a 9 16 Okay, we also have a head of a bolt underneath that you have to hold. And I'm just trying to get it enough that I can actually move this out of the way to get the belt out like this. All right. 
do the other side here. Oops, almost lost it. I don't want to lose it. I just, not that it'll fall out, but just, you don't have to take it off. Okay, so your belt is off. Now, I definitely recommend to, if your belt's not broken, just try to match it up with the new belt, just to make sure you're close. Now, this is an OEM belt for this mower deck, so yeah, that's pretty much right on the money. Go ahead and reinstall. Also, I'm not sure uh, if these guides move out of the way. Make sure you remember where these guides were actually facing. I'm pretty sure there is a clip inside there that makes it move only a little bit. This one here is actually part of this bracket here, so we should be good there. If these brackets here are not lined up correctly, you can have them too far this way and they'll wear the belt when it's engaged. So it is pretty important to have these guides at the right place. Some guides move, some guides didn't. And also make sure that everything is moving the way it should. Everything is free and nothing's binding. And yeah, bleed. Make sure you check your bearings on both sides. The bearings are in the hubs and everybody's good there. Okay. And then I pull this a little bit snug, a little tight like that. So these, these are nice and seated right there and I'll hold it there just to put the cover on because you don't want the belt falling off when you put the cover on because then you'll ruin a brand new belt. Okay. So now that everything's on properly, we want to go ahead and reinstall the mower deck. And I don't put it in all the way because you got to get the cable on. And the cable has to go on this little guy right here. Now you got to be careful right now. I, I'm going to stretch the cable too far. I don't want to hurt the cable. So I have to move the mower deck back. And I have to make sure I go underneath the brake arm and the belt, the brand new belt. And then as I said, I'm turning it, twisting it, and then it should come up underneath like so. And then I'm going to push the arm in, it's spring loaded, I'm going to push it in towards the rear. And then put the cable in the back bracket here. Make sure you don't bend it. And right here we're getting pretty close, but we're fine. Let me go ahead and let go of the pulley here and then we're going to go ahead and put the clip in the back right, like that okay we're going to go ahead and push this under now i'm going to start with the rear because these rear brackets are really challenging sometimes to get on put the mower deck all the way down now that brings your arms in now you I'm pretty close right here, but you may have to slide the mower deck forward or backward. And also, I'm going to get my pry bar in position to help me here. Because I'm going to pry up, pry on the, the mower deck to get this line up. I have to take my clip out that was just stationary, just holding that in. Now, I'm going to try to slide it through. There's a the bracket here and there's a slit. It's a very fine line where that goes. I have to hold up the mower deck with my one arm and that's with the pry bar. And then I'm gonna to try to manipulate the mower deck a little bit here and just slide this out just enough that I can slide that down past that one and then up into the hole. It's really hard to show you some film because I need it to be where the camera is right now. <laughs> All right, I may need that block of wood again. All right, so there it is. That was a little, little challenging there. I got it in. Put that clip in like so. Let's go ahead and go to the other side. Okay, so the other side, I'm going to put my pry bar in here again. I'm going to take the clip out. 
you have to raise the mower deck up a little bit with my pry bar. And I'm going to lower this down. And I'm trying to do it all, all at the same time. There you go. That went in a little bit easier. Once you get one side in, it's usually a little bit easier. And then again, I put the clips in from forward to rearward. Now I'm going to go around to the front here. And I'm going to put the mower deck belt on the front pulley because we can and get it out of the way. And then you have to put in your bar. Now, knowing which way this bar goes, I usually go by the wear marks. There is no clip wear mark here. So it's going to actually go this way like that. And as you can see, can't put it in there. And the reason being, this deck is just a little bit high in the rear. It's not allowing the front to come up. So I'm putting my pry bar in the front. I'm lifting up on the front of this. That'll actually bring up, that'll bring the mower deck forward and up. So you can just push it right in like that. And then go around to the other side and put your pin in like so, like that. Now this is where, make sure that you're, you're on all your pulleys, make sure you're on the engine. And now we're gonna engage the mower deck. So we're gonna come up here, engage it. Now that should get everything nice and tight. Double check to make sure everything's on. And at this point, you can see the mark that I put in the frame to put that, you know, the, the um, bracket up here. So this bracket here, it has a little stud right there and it has to go in, it has to go just like this. Now you gotta be careful you put these things in correctly, all right? So you remember that this little paddle here went towards the rear of the tractor. And I know a lot of people out there will probably say, oh, you can do it without taking this off, but I just take it off because it just makes it so much easier to work around. But it does make it a little tricky to get this to line up with everything. And so what I'm gonna do is just get it started just like that. All right, now that shouldn't fall out, I don't think. I'm gonna go around to the other side. All right, so it's real close to the hole here. I'm gonna push this in a little bit and then right into the hole that I'm supposed to be in right here. And you gotta make sure that you're all lined up the way you should be. And that is a half inch socket that tightens up that bolt. Go ahead and tighten this up. Snug that in. And now you just have to make sure that nothing's rubbing these are a pretty tight fit. It really does help. If you run without this bar, this belt will fall off. And it's real important because you can ruin these belts are not cheap. And like I said, use OEM. So that pretty much is it. Now, once you have it all eyeballed out and you see that everything is good where it should be. So you're gonna go ahead and disengage your mower deck or your machine will not start. Definitely do tire pressure, check the deck level. Usually what I'll do is I'll run the mower deck and then check deck level after that, but do tire pressure check your deck level. And that's pretty much it for how to remove and install a mower deck belt on a Craftsman T1700 series lawn tractor. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends about my channel and I'll catch you guys on the next one.